This was invented in 1854 in Germany to play uh, religious music, church music. They didn't have any money to buy an organ or a harmonium, and they invented this. It used to be called bandonium, and I understand that very many sailors uh, play this instrument when they are, are on, on board. And uh, that's the reason uh, how it got to Argentina. And, and, it, and they stopped playing this instrument in the, in the whorehouses. But the Italian accordion players uh, quickly uh, adapted this instrument to play tango because it had a very uh, sad sound. It had like a velvet sound. The accordion has like a happy sound. And this instrument has a really nothing happy in it. How, how does it play? What, what do you do with the different hands? Well, uh, it has a, a left hand with the, with the low notes. And the right hand, like a violin. Like a string quartet. Doesn't it play chords? Yes. It, no, not not in the single like the accordion. No, you, if you want a chord, you have to use your, all your fingers. We only have uh, four fingers in each side, another finger to hold uh, the instrument, and in the chords you make them each one. You can get eight notes on uh, a chord of eight notes on it. I mean, it's uh, rather difficult in the right hand. I mean, you if you do a scale. You use this technique, and when you close the C, instead of being here, it's up here. It changes, and in the, in the left hand, it has two techniques completely different from the right hand. You do the C starts here, and when you close, it starts here. So it's, uh, it's very diabolic. I mean, the people who, the, the person who, who's interested in learn, learning this instrument must be a little out of his mind. Nonino means uh, grandfather in Italian, and my children used to call my father Nonino, so when he died, I said, I wrote this composition called Adios Nonino. That's why it's like a, like a requiem.